I mean, you'll go back to the book of Genesis because everything should be found in the Bible. When you look at the Bible, Genesis chapter 1 talks about creation. Genesis chapter 2, we see the Sabbath. But when we look to Genesis chapter 3, we found the temptation and the fall of man. And in Genesis chapter 3, verse 7, you find out that after Adam and Eve ate the fruit, they, dis they, they knew that they were naked. And what did they do? They got the fig leaves and saw apron. So we are seeing right in the Garden of Eden, we see fashion there. Because an apron is a type of fashion. And the Bible has put it there for a reason. When you look at an apron, it is something that is worn even today. And when you look at that type of dress, it tells you something. So when you talk about dress, it brings back to Genesis chapter 3 and how Adam and Eve realized that they were naked and they saw fig leaves. And when they saw fig leaves, they clothed themselves. Uh, sister, the Bible says in 1 Samuel 16 verse 7 that people look on the outside of a person, but the Lord looks at the heart. Okay. Maybe you can comment about this. Okay. When uh, the Bible says that when Samuel was going to anoint uh, the king who was David, the, the Lord reminded him that he looks at the heart, not at the outside. So we see when it comes to dress, many people will say, God looks at my heart and not at my, outward, my, my outside appearance. But when you look in the Bible, the Bible says in Genesis chapter 3, verse 10, you find out that when Adam and Eve sinned against God and they saw fig leaves, and when Jesus came to visit them, they started hiding themselves. Why did they hide and yet God looks at the heart? You see, when the Bible continues to say that, they realized that they were naked. Despite them wearing fig leaves, they realized that those fig leaves were not enough because God indeed looks at both the outside and the inside. 